Welcome students, Tom Harmer, your accounting professor here. And this will be a demonstration of how to format Excel pages so that they print properly, which unfortunately they do not know how to do until you define it. In the Excel practice exercise you did earlier, you were instructed on this home page here. We learned how to set column widths, how to use the border tools here for getting boxes and getting the reports to look the way we want them to look. We learned how to use the summary command for mathematical calculations, etc. But this small segment here is going to be showing you how to set it up so it'll print reports properly. Now, if you do a control P, and by the way, this is applicable for both Macintosh and Windows. And I notice that Macintosh users typically have to do this because somehow bringing up my Excel that I created in Windows does uh, need to be reformatted for printing purposes. So control P works in either case. And here we've got a little a preview picture over here on the right of what it's going to print. And I mentioned here that this is actually this report is eight columns wide, okay? And as it's showing here, one, two, three, four, five, six columns are only showing. Now, if I page through this document, so it's going down through all the different general ledger accounts, and then boom, here's the last two rows showing up over here. That's not what we want. We want all of this report to show up in this one page. So I'm going to just hit Escape to get out of here because I clearly need to format this page. So the first thing I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll click on the Page Layout tab. And Page Layout has margins, orientation, size, print area, page breaks, etc. Okay? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to define the print area. Okay? So you set the print area first. I want to print just these columns. And that's whatever, however long this thing goes, I want those columns. I could have said I want to just print this one uh, segment right there and I could have clicked print er set print area and then when I went to print control P that's all that prints but we want to print the in all the columns so I come full width I go to print area set print area now how do we get it so it includes all of this in that column so I click on this little arrow down here. You'd think that they would have all these commands here. No, 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 not that simple, folks. You gotta click this little guy. This is where the real action is in formatting Excel reports. Okay, so here we can say whether it's portrait or landscape, and of course, this general ledger report we want in portrait, so I leave that there. Now what's happening here is that it's, it's we want to force it. It, it is going 100% normal size, so it's causing it to go to two sheets wide. We just come here, we set fit to one page wide by, it says one page tall. Well, I'm just going to make that zero. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't know how tall it's supposed to be yet. So now I can come down here to print preview and take a look at it now. Ah, look at that. See, now it's including all of my columns. Okay. It's got everything there, so we got the print. Let's take a look at how many pages it is. Okay, well, it looks like it's fitting just fine on the page length, you know, so that's good. Let's come back here and take a look at a few other things. I like to have the name. The, you see up across the top here, the name of the file is the 03 Solomon Accounting Project blank. I like to have the name of the report showing on every page. So I come back here, I click on that box, come to your header footer right there okay I can put a header on the thing if I wanted to but I don't want to do a header I want to do I want to have the name of the file so across the bottom here I click on that now that's going to show up on every page I got that sheet the question is do I want grid lines to show these little lines show on the screen are they do we want them to show in the report if I click that then they will if I don't, then only the border formatting that I put in the document will show. Okay, so I'm not going to click that. Let's go back. So we got page, we've got fit to one page wide, 
margins. If I can change margins here, I have to find my header footer across the bottom. And I have real rows at the top, okay. So, okay, so now I say print preview. Okay, so you notice here that this is only, you know, we've got many pages in the sport, so that's looking good, okay. But I've got many other tabs in this report that aren't showing, so let's come back. Oh, let's go right here. It says print active sheets. Okay. By the way, I can change printers here. Okay. And all this to some extent, the term, this is uh, Office 2010 we're looking at. If you've got uh, Excel, you know, some prior version, your print options are different than this. And that's unfortunate, but true. Okay. Here we are in Office 10. Pull down this guy. We go to print entire workbook. This is going to print every page in the workbook. Otherwise, initially it defaults to just the page you're in. So now we're looking at the entire project. That's formatted properly. Okay, there's the journal. That is properly formatted, multiple pages. Okay, looking good. Okay, now here's our general edge report. We've got that looking good now. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then, oh, look at this. We've got we've got here let's come back this is our worksheet this is in portrait mode we don't want that we want that to be in um, in landscape mode so we'll go change that come down here there's our financial statements that's all looking good okay there's this is the account format of the balance sheet and then up here of course this is the report format and then we come down to our post closing trial balance and then we've got our final page, which is the scoring sheet. Okay, so let's just go back. We'll come back here to our trial balance. I'm gonna come page layout. So it could have been over here when you came over. I come over to page layout. I click this little box, little thing in the lower right here. Click on that guy. And I come over and I can go to landscape. Okay, and then say, okay. Now I could have also actually done orientation here. Okay, but really most of the tools are in this little button here. So set your print area there and then come over here to format the rest of it. Okay, so now control P and I won't, it says entire project still. I'm going to come back and just do the, they call it the active page, which means the current page. There we go. So now I'm in landscape mode and it's filling the whole page. So that's it. What you do is you go up here to your page layout section. You can set your print area. Then you come down here and you set your how you want it to fit on the pages here. The margins, the header footer, and the sheet determines um, whether you're doing grid lines or not. And also you can set it if you got something that has uh, like it's going multiple pages and you want the same heading you can set the headers here like say if I wanted to have the first three rows of this report or four rows of this report in the top of every page I could do that and then it's there so and I'm gonna get that out of there because I don't want that here we go so now you have been instructed on how to format your printer settings in Excel thank you very much